<laughs> All right, so I guess I just gotta go fall down there then. That that actually is the intended shortcut. The shortcut, yes. Okay, I was just making sure like I didn't like pass up anything. Okay. Huh. Because now you're back here. Interesting. <laughs> that does not work the way you think it does. Oh. <laughs> now I'm disappointed. I also don't quite recognize where I am, so... Oh. Okay. That's where. Yep. Ah, I can't turn the other vertical beams into rail guns. No, it's only the uh, it's only the other one. Damn. Oh, there was a glowy here. It is it gone how now? How did that glowy not get buried? <laughs> no. Well, I got it, but like, how did it not get buried under all the sand? Uh, I thought that was water. What? <laughs> Dog tours. <laughs> Ring of poison resistance. <laughs> Shard of hearthstone. <laughs> oh, I guess this does look like water, or this is water. I thought it was Why sand. Does sand make make lava less hot. Yeah. I don't know. I honestly thought it looked like sand. Why would sand make lava less hot? <laughs> I mean, in hindsight, it wouldn't. It, it does not. Does that not look like sand? No, no. Okay, like... so there's a there's an interesting little thing about special effects with uh, in in movies when they do waterfalls in miniature. Uh, real water doesn't work in miniature, so they use mm -hmm. salt instead. Uh, <laughs> salt has the same flow characteristics that that water does, but and looks right. So, that's why I'm laughing at you more than because it's utterly ridiculous that it would be sand that would be less hot. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. Water, Battle Cattle points out, water doesn't work at a small scale because of surface tension, which is the reason. Yeah, okay. Also, I, I like uh, Jabo's theory that this is a giant flas factory. <laughs> <laughs> he corrected him, but I, I prefer flas. <laughs> as soon as we figure out what flas is, I think it's I think it's magical cold making sand. <laughs> I think it's sand that gets dumped into magma. <laughs> oh, it's a flask that hasn't added the K yet. <laughs> <laughs> the next enemy's weakness is you. You got this. <laughs> I do. I was just hoping he was gonna blow himself up. No, no, he's too fat for that. No. Stone of Ephemeralize. No. I don't know. These, these. Please recommend this message. Messages ha always have so many ratings that I feel compelled to just add to that. <laughs> You're just. You're just going along with the crowd. What what does recommending a it message do? It heals the person who put it down. Okay. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> That's good. Why does this guy have less less than max health? Uh, he probably got stabbed in the back <laughs> by you. No, no, I wouldn't. No, no, I see. You stabbed him in the front. <laughs> exactly. Oh, if you drop from the ceiling, that would that would explain it. Yeah, you were... There's a lot of people wanting recommendations. Um... <laughs> That's not foreboding. You got this. Oh, I've suddenly remembered... 
I'm good. We're good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I suddenly remembered the thing. <laughs> It's all coming okay, back to me like now. Okay, it looks like a lever. Should I, hit, should I do the lever now, or...? I don't know. Oh, I forgot to do a thing. Ah, there's... two levers. Oh, it looks like there's a thing up there, so maybe I'll go get that first. Right. Um... There's a lever. Oh, there's a glowy. Oh-ho! <laughs> Indeed, there's a glowy. Liquidy, I like that we're 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 on enough of the same page that you knew exactly what I remembered. <laughs> you remembered and, that our gate will do just fine. Oh, he's he's got nothing to worry about. So what is this a spider boss or something? I. What the heck? Well, I mean Chris that is played. kind of foreshadowed, but but it's not like it's not like Demon Souls to totally foreshadow a thing and not give you a left turn. Magic? Well, you know, because Chris blades are generally associated with blade? like ceremonies, ceremonial daggers, and ceremonious stabbings. <laughs> okay, it's magic. All right, all right, guys, left or right? <laughs> oh no! There, there's a non-zero chance I'm gonna have to get the door in the middle of this. So, left or right? Uh, well, well, the the right lever is an elevator. So, two guesses what the left lever does. It, it probably kills you outright. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll hit the right one first then. Did you think there would be a hint? <laughs> Did you? I would have hoped for one. Uh, yeah, now I want to know. <laughs> don't, There's so many levers. Don't you know the thing about knowing? I have to... I'll stop. <laughs> it's, uh, I'd swear it's at least 40% of the battle. <laughs> Can those levers actually kill me? Like, just out of curiosity. Man, I don't know. Cause I kind of want to go back and uh, hit that no, other the, one. The lever just pulls the elevator up to you if the elevator's not there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, when I said elevator, I was really hoping you would connect the dots. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I I can see a red glowy eye through this fog. That's well, probably, no, it's probably an item. It's it's a red eye night. You got this. Uh, fortune favors the bold. And and not you probably. Also, don't get hit by a sticky white stuff. <laughs> Why did you get hit? You by tell a me this after stuff? it happens. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, don't get meteor. I I'm trying. So is so have we reached the point where I can say things like, man, I hated this fight so much. Yeah. Also, did you find a story liquidy? When I was working in a deli, I was a dumbass who decided to flick a chunk of turkey off the slicer while the blade was spinning before loading on another loaf. Of course I sliced mm. my fingertip off. I went numb and saw my glove fill up with blood. While in shock, I went to find the other deli employee to tell her I was going to be gone for a bit and showed her my red-handed forearm. Of course, she continued to serve the customer without cleaning the slicer or even pretending to. The old manager was a hoarder, who refused to throw out past due product. The Genoa salamis would have grown mold on them, 
at which point she would tell us to spray it with sanitizer and wipe the mold off with a paper towel and put it back on the counter. You see, salami has a casing on it, so it's not like the mold is really growing from the meat. Also, the casing protects it from chemicals. Also, mold doesn't transfer to other products of close proximity. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Laura, I believe you may have a deli story. Actually, not a deli story. No? So, when I was in college, of course, I, I did my stint waitressing. Um, one day, I was using our lemon slicer. And god damn it, that thing has had a bent blade on it forever. It's so fucking annoying. I'm just gonna reach in here and bend it back. Oh god, that was a terrible idea. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh god. I basically sliced my thumbnail and thumb meat in half from the top. <laughs> so like I notched my thumb down the center. And then, and then lemon juice went. <laughs> and then it got filled with lemon juice. Oh god. By <laughs> stupidity, it was rewarded. <laughs> Battle Kettle says, please don't stick your hand into malfunctioning machinery. <laughs> Well, it's, it's deceptively full, like, it's like a machine you stick a lemon in, and the blades are all exposed, and then you just pull the handle lever. I, I know what a lemon's... <laughs> oh my god, what's gonna... No. Don't no, do that. Don't do that. Okay, so <laughs> how, how long ago was that? About 15 years? Uh, you know, I that 12 long. years? <laughs> yeah, 12 years. Okay, so, so 12 <laughs> years ago, don't do that! Yeah. Yeah. No, it was one of those, like... My brain just was like, I'm gonna fucking fix this. And then I was like, like before, I, my hand was doing it before my brain said, oh god, you're stupid. And then I was really stupid. And then I had to wait for some extra. Now, <laughs> now I'm, I, I can tell you, ever. I, I can <laughs> tell you that I'm only marginally smarter than that, and that I would also have had the same instinct, but I would have grabbed a pair of flyers. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I died. <laughs> did you? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I did. Oh, he, he just got palmed by a fat official. <laughs> a, a big boss. Oh, he got Hadouken. That's that's unfortunate. Surprise, surprise, daggers have terrible range. Oh no! Well, you got a story, huh? Yeah, I was, I was waiting for, uh... I was waiting for an opening. That, I this guess is, I have this now. This is your opening. I got I you. used to work at a grocery store in the produce department. <laughs> Cauliflower comes in boxes with the huge leaves. Oh! And you have to cut them off so they look nice on the rack. They didn't let me do the cutting until I'd been working there a couple of months. I asked why they never let me put, uh, put out cauliflower, and the assistant manager held up his hand to show me a bunch of little scars all along the side of his pinky finger. Then he called over one of the other guys who had been there for years. He holds up his pinky to show me the same thing. I shake my head like, geez, these guys are a bunch of klutzes. So of course, the first time they give me a box of cauliflower to cut, the serrated vegetable knife that's somehow sharper than anything while it's moving goes right through the leaf and through my fingernail and cuts the tip of my pinky finger halfway off. So I'm standing there in the middle of the store holding my nearly severed fingertip wrapped tightly in my filthy apron desperately hoping none of the produce guys saw that, and I notice it's bleeding really fast. There's a loony-sized circle of blood on the apron and it's getting bigger. I run over to the deli counter and yell that I need help. The only person in the store who has first aid training is the deli manager, but honestly, I would have been better off with literally anybody else's help. The first thing they tell me to do is run it under cold water until the bleeding stops. After about 30 seconds of doing that, I start to get really lightheaded. I say, uh, I think I'm gonna faint. Deli manager nods and mumbles something without looking up from the incident report form he's filling out. Yep, totally fainting now, it's happening, I'm losing consciousness. No response. 
Some undetermined amount of time later, I wake up on the concrete floor with a whole deli staff standing around peering down at me uneasily. Oh god, he's so white. He's like, green, says a younger female employee who then runs away. My head is pounding and I can barely remember who I am and what a grocery store is. And my shirt is covered in blood, but miraculously my finger has stopped bleeding. I start to get up, and suddenly everybody in the store is really concerned about holding me up by the arms and making sure I absolutely can't fall over again. I get led to the back office. The produce manager is there. Fucking cauliflower, huh? Hey, you don't look so good. <laughs> the store owner asks if I'm alright. I think I have a concussion, I say. He looks back at the produce manager with a kind of, well, what do we do now expression. They give me some fruit juice and a form to sign and tell me to go home. I don't know what the form says, but I am too sleepy to care. Fuck cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that story. <laughs> I, I don't wanna. But, um... What? Suffice it to How say he that, what? um... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <clears throat> How? I don't understand how my shield was up. Fire can probably go through shields. He didn't use fire. Hmm. <clears throat> well, look, did you have a story queued up? Uh. My worst cut story is from when I was prepping in a banquet hall, my first real cooking job. I was dicing potatoes, picking them up on the knife and dropping them in a. Wait, what the f- I don't know what that is. Mandolin? A, a bain-marie? Oh, okay. <laughs> and dropping them into a bain-marie with water in it in front of my cutting board. <laughs> Getting into the rhythm and not paying attention, at one point I have the knife just too low, it hits the bane and comes to an abrupt stop. And I slide my hand that was holding the potatoes down the length of the blade. Eighteen stitches and I still have a scar almost ten years later. Whenever I see someone picking food up off of a cutting board with the sharp end of their knife, I show them my left hand to point out that a bench scraper might be a better choice of tool for that job. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to use, uh, that. Oh well. Did, uh... Oh! Oh, well now you have more health for Armor Spider. Oh yeah, he is trying to ambush me. Oh god, that that is um very unfortunate, Jopo. Uh, I I believe I've heard this one before, and uh, <laughs> that it doesn't end well for anyone involved. No. My my jaw literally dropped when I read that. <laughs> that uh... I always thought that warning signs should be a little more uh, authoritative. For example, if you walk past this sign, you will die. I've seen exactly one sign with that sort of styling, and I really like it. Uh, I don't know if it's a standard for railroad crossings, but there's a sign that says... It, the, the, the general idea of the sign was, uh, don't hang out on railroad tracks. If you do, you will be killed. And then it just spells killed out, <laughs> like with a dot between each letter, bolded red. I, I really liked it. It's a yeah, good the sign. Sun, actually, the the signs in uh, nuclear power plants are generally pretty authoritative on that regard as well. They don't they don't spell it out. There's just a skull and a radiation symbol. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know yeah. not to go into the <laughs> into certain areas of a of a uh, of a nuclear power plant, then you deserve kind of what you get. I used to have a boss who uh, was the last person who will ever go to a certain specific place uh, in that, in uh, in the, what was it, uh, Peach, Peach Bottom? I think it's Peach, Peach Bottom's the nuclear power plant. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think Peach Bottom was the one he worked at. Ross, my my boss at uh, at the street. Um, basically, they were they were getting ready to turn on uh, the. Um, fuck, I've lost my words here. They were getting ready to turn on the reactor, uh, unit number two, and they had to send a security guard in under the reactor to <laughs> no bomb or anything. Oh wow! I'm oh, sorry. Uh, so. This security guard was the guy who would eventually be my boss. He, he went through there, and he declared it all clear, they turned on the reactor, and then that area is not habitable for life. Ever. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. So, um, what am I supposed to do when he does the fire Don't. thing? When he does the nuke, you're supposed to not be there. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, don't. Where where is it safe to be? It's not, not there. <laughs> Certainly not there. Have you considered not being where you are? I don't know where to be. <laughs> <laughs> I love giving useless info. <laughs> oh god, it it hits you more than once, doesn't it? Yes? It lasts for like five or six hits. <laughs> I am so happy I decided to go get uh, get the uh, fire protection ring. Yeah, I'm in. And I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm actually kind of surprised. That attack is pretty bullshit. Yeah. No wonder I cheese this guy. Yeah, everyone... You can everyone cheese this guy? <laughs> there, there are two bosses in this game that I'm, I'm given to understand get cheesed constantly. And, uh, this is one of them. Are you gonna beat the? He, he's looking a little like he might beat the armor spider fair and square. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of. How do you sad. cheese this fight? I, how, how do you cheese this fight? I want to know now because I beat the armor spider. Well, uh, you know how I was asking if he had a bow and arrow earlier. You gotta be kidding. There's <laughs> a part of the wall on the left that. Uh, the armor spider basically meteors. can't hit you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you beat him legit. <laughs> no one does that. Well, people do do that. It's just we didn't. <laughs> you guys are wimps. Yeah, I forgot about that. Slow Beef actually is doing a blind run of this himself. Like, like at the same time as you. Wait, did you touch the rock? You should touch the rock. I'm, t I'm going, I'm going. I just want to see like what was over there. 